Pizza Hut. I can't eat. Where is 12? So, yeah, you about to head home. I need some tissue. First of all, you know better than that. You know I do not drop stuff. No one coming to you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm not going to lie. I need some tissue. Where's my, you know better than that. You know I do not drop stuff. No one coming to you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm not going to lie. I need some tissue. Guys, so, trying to hear how I sound. I lay back. My nose is stopped up. I'm about to take my back to sleep. And we'll see how I feel once I wake up. It's 4 o'clock. I'm gonna leave at like 4 30 to get there, like 5 30. I'm gonna get dressed, get ready, and get on the road. Okay, I'm gonna spray some of this. It usually works a little bit, so. So I am here at the VA. Um, it's 5 45 a.m. My appointment's at 6 a.m. I'm about to go inside. Um, I have to go to the second floor and go to OR. But, so I'm like nervous. So yeah, we about to go inside. Press the button. Press the button. Press the button. Whoa. Second floor. How you feeling? I'm so nervous. Oh my gosh. I'm really gonna go through there. I don't know where I gotta go. Alarm. Anesthesiologist? I really don't like this. I don't know how to feel about it. Like, I'm getting emotional. I really don't want to leave her. Okay, I'm all checked in. I have to give a urine sample. So I'm about to do that. My surgery is at 8 a.m. So we gotta left. I'll be done around 10 o'clock, which is good. So let me go ahead and go to the bathroom. The urine sample is complete. So, here we go. Alright, so I am all hooked up. I had to strip down. But, booty ball naked. Um, my blood pressure was taken. The first time it was like 120 over something. But now it went up to 133 over 92. It's still high. So, update, uh, the anesthesiologist, chaplain, everybody came in. I had to do another COVID test. Blood pressure is 128 over 84. Okay. Okay, yo. Yes, ma'am. Do you have any questions? All right, y'all. So, just a quick update. Um, It is 11.50. The doctor just called me saying that. Everything went well. Um, he gave me like the instructions for her aftercare. I'm sorry, I'm just like trying to really gather myself and just like try to relax more, but everything went good. Um, she's good, I'm waiting for the, the person to come to get me, to take me where she is. Um, they just told me like, you know, whatever they did and what she needs to do for like the next week and a half or two weeks or whatever, which is not that much. She just gotta like do certain like saline sprays up her nose. She, they said she has like splints in her nose, but I'm pretty sure she'll be able to give y'all like more information. But I'll let y'all know when, when they come and get me. Okay, no. let me know when you're ready, okay? No, I'm fine. My nose is clear. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I'm sorry. It's not ready to get up yet. You set me on a second. Okay, now if you want to, you can take it and kind of cuff it from under your lip. That way, you don't have to hold it. Okay. And all of this is yours. You. And then you can make lots of them. <laughs> Thank you. This That's is crazy. So <clears throat> I just got my first BBL. So.
Okay, y'all, so we headed to Chick-fil-A. I'm feeling like drunk. Very drunk. And weak. So I have to get something to eat. I need something. And then I'm gonna go home. I'll take my butt to bed. What's your pain level? Three. Um, so my nose is bleeding. Now it just won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Rockefeller record. Yeah. So it's like, let me see. That's what she gave me. The bit underneath. So I guess I will be out of work for a little minute. I don't know. We're going to see. I can't. They said two weeks. First they said a week. Now they're saying two weeks. Like, make up your mind. But anyway. I am heading home. That's time I'm recovering. Make sure y'all tune into the next video. All right, I look so.